Welcome to the 2024 World Crokinole Championship. We are in game three of the doubles final 12. In this matchup, we have Darren Carr and Gina Schick from the Shelburne Curling Club. Against them, we have Josh Carfiello and Ron Langell, who have seen great success in previous Crokinole tournaments, placing first in the 2023 Owen Sound Crokinole Challenge and third in the Ontario Doubles Championship. Carfiello will open this round, going long, maybe leaving a hanger opportunity for Carr. Unable to convert and doesn't get the off either. Langell, with not much to work with, opts to hit and stick. Maybe an angling opportunity now for Gina. Doesn't quite get it, lipping out on the right side of the hole, at least from Carfiello, who will be going for a follow through. Unable to get it, but not a lot to work with on either side here. Carr opts to hit and stick. Very nice hide from Langell. Alas, unsuccessful as Langell is able to get through the pegs. Carr suggests Gina squeak through the pegs, which she'll be going for. Doesn't quite get it. Unfortunate catch on the pegs. Bounces out, leaving Carfiello with an open 20 opportunity. Seems as though he was able to get it. Carfiello and Langell going up one in the cup. Carr to balance out the disadvantage. Carr and Gina have the hammer advantage in this round. And while there's two opponent discs on the board, they are probably feeling pretty comfortable right now. Langell suggesting Carfiello go for the bump up. Doesn't quite see it. Oh, he will be going for it. Just a little bit tough now with a nice backboard opportunity for Carr. Looks like there's two options. We'll see... If he wants one, and which one he'll go for. Looks as though he'll be going for that further one away. Never mind. He hits the closer one to us and rolls away, leaving Langell nothing to work with and opening the door for Schick to hit a 20. Although it looks like... Yes, she'll be going for that backboard there. Unable to convert. Going long, landing on the outside of the pegs. Car now. They are in a little bit of a situation. Three opponent discs on the board. That red disc is parked nicely. It would be hard for Langell not to take out his own. An unfortunate hit. Car and Schick are right back in it. Three shots remaining for the Shelburne Curling Club team. Gina! Beautiful follow through. Shrugs it off. No big deal. Sharp shooter. Very nice shot. Now up 20 in the cup with Hammer. Car and Schick are feeling very comfortable. Langell catches a peg. Very unfortunate. Schick and Car have pretty much won this round. Sealing the deal. They will take this first round going up 2-0 to zero in game three of the final 12. We see that very nice follow through again. And Carr will open up the second round of game three. Draining the open 20. Very nice. Langell powering through. Not quite invalid, but... Schick content to hit and stick. Now, whoa! Carfiello. I didn't think they were in danger there. Very nice shot. Carr follows with an open 20. Langell has now found his range. Players now going around the board. Carr hitting his second 20 attempt. Langell 
a little bit off to the side on the right side of the 20, although we have seen Schick hit those follow throughs in this round. Unable to convert there, rolls away, not leaving much for Carfiello to work with. Nicely posted. Nice, Carr is able to roll to the outside. Carfiello and Langell do have hammer, but they'll need to make something happen here. Either draw a mistake out of Carr and Schick, or drain a 20. Certainly can't count these two out as Carfiello is able to pull play back into the middle. Nice hit and stick from Carr. Looks like his disc is very well posted, not quite up against the post. Carfiello seems to see a way for Langell to get this off, but Ops for the touch, probably wise in this situation. Play still in the middle, which is good for opportunities like that for Carfiello and Langell. Carfiello is able to convert, which he does. They are not quite out of the running. They are getting close though. Players down to their last shot each. Langell trying to catch a peg, unfortunately doesn't get the 20 or the off. Schick gets the off. They'll be very comfortable pushing through for an aggressive follow through, almost gets it too. But now with Carfiello gets a double and a 20, they will tie this round, certainly not a gimme. Doesn't quite get the double, almost pushed through. See some highlight shots from the players. Carfiello is hitting very nice angles there, but ultimately Carr and Schick were just a little bit more on their open 20s game and took the second round, bringing the score to four to zero. Langell first to shoot, misses at 20. Schick hit and sticks, maybe an open door for Carfiello. Absolutely deadly. You cannot leave him anything. Carr coming up short, an opportunity for Langell now. Very nice. Carfiello and Langell now up two 20s against the hammer. Certainly a good way to start this round though. <laughs> Carr and Schick for, certainly feeling comfortable at this moment, having the hammer advantage. Down a 20, but two discs on the board, one in the 10, one in the 15. Langell and Carfiello have a little bit of work to do to be feeling comfortable in this round. Very nice attempt from Langell. Looks as though he was going for that double, doesn't quite get it, but good action in the middle. Looks like Schick is opting to go over the 20. A very nice half hole there. But again, maybe an open door for Carfiello. And he gets it. Very nice touch from the right side. Carr unable to convert on the open 20. Langell and Carfiello now with a 220 advantage in control of this round. Just over halfway through the third round of this match. Schick catches the pegs. Probably fortunate. Would have been bad news if she had hit one of her own discs there. Carr and Schick are certainly not out of this room, but they have a lot of work to do if they want to bring it back into their own control. Carr almost able to get a 20 there. Looks like he breezed past that 20. Schick now. Left with another awkward leave from Langell. Able to hit and stay in the 10. Very nice shot. Carr now. This is becoming more interesting. See what he's able to do. Whoa! Nice double from Carr. Cleaning up the board. Very nice. But Carr and Schick still need two 20s. 
push for it. That was close, but not quite in this third round. We'll go to Carfiello and Langell bringing the score of this third game to 4-2. We are now going to the final round of game three, seeing some highlight shots from the players. That nice double from Carr, a few 20s from Langell and Carfiello. Schick comes up short. See if Carfiello looks like he'll be playing more defensively. Or maybe going for a drop back. I stand corrected. I've been wrong before. Carr was definitely going for the drop back. Doesn't quite get it. Now a 20 opportunity for Langell. Lips out. Schick now looks like she will be leaving that 20 opportunity for Carr. Doesn't get the off though. Players discussing the situation and acknowledging that they have hammer. It looks like Carfiello will take an intentionally invalid shot to force play onto the outside. For those of you not following at home, if you hit your own disc and not an opponent's, both your shooter and any of your own discs that you hit come off the board. Carfiello did this intentionally to force Carr to play on the outside rather than taking that easy 20 opportunity. That was a high IQ play from Ron Langell and Josh Carfiello. Very good call as Schick has lots of work now to get play back in the middle. Carr has nothing to work with on the outside here. And Langell is more than content just to hit and stick in this area to force Schick to force play back into the middle. Langell and Carfiello having last shot. They are more than content with this. Schick is able to get play back to the middle though. Carfiello an unfortunate hit and stick. Now Carr has that 20 opportunity back. And is able to convert. Very nice shot from Carr. Pressure now on Langell and Carfiello. Missing that open 20. Now Carfiello and Langell need something big to happen. It was good work keeping play out of the middle for a little bit. But now they've got a lot less shots to make something happen. Langell now with a drop back opportunity. If he can get this, he'll be right back in it. Not quite. Leaving a backboard opportunity for Schick now. Who gets it? Very nice. Up to 20s. Although they're against a the hammer, there is not much that Langell and Carfiello, Carfiello can do at this point. And that is it for the final round. Bringing the score of this game to 6-2 to two for Carr and Schick from the Shelburne Curling Club. Great performance from all players. Stay tuned as more games from the final 12 will be coming out very shortly. See who moves on to the final four for the title of World Crokinole Doubles Champion. Make it a great day.